Hello St George's, it's lovely to be talking to you today. Well today is the 23rd of April which is also St George's Day. So I thought I would tell you the story of St George and the Dragon. The story starts off in a castle where there's a very proud king standing on his balcony, surveying his kingdom and making sure that everything was okay. As he was standing there, he became aware of a dark shadow that was getting closer and closer and closer. And all of a sudden he turned around and there next to him was a fierce dragon with jets of yellow flames coming out of his nostril. The king was scared and he didn't know what to do. So he shouted to his guards, help, help. The guards came rushing up and saw the dragon and they said to the king, we're brave, we will fight this dragon for you. And they got their lances and they were throwing them at the dragon. But they just bounced off his thick scaly skin. Then some of the guards got off their horses and they got out their swords. And they started trying to fight the dragon by hand. But his skin was so thick and scaly they just couldn't get through. The dragon laughed and said, you can't hurt me, but if you feed me once a day, I will leave you alone. The king didn't know what to do, and so he ordered his guards to feed the dragon once a day. The following morning, the guards took a sheep to the dragon's cave. The dragon gobbled it up hungrily. The following day, they went back with another sheep. The following day they went back with another sheep and before long the dragon had eaten all of the sheep in the kingdom. The dragon said to the guards, you need to bring me a different animal and so the next day the guards went back to the cave with a cow. The dragon said, I don't like cows, you're going to have to find me something else to eat. So the guards went off and they looked for sheep and goats and pigs to feed the hungry, fierce dragon. And before long, the dragon had eaten all of the animals in the kingdom. The dragon said to the guards, I fancy something sweet. I know that there's a princess living in the castle. Tomorrow you must bring me the princess. The guards didn't know what to do. They knew the king would not be happy. And when they told the king what the dragon had asked, the king was really cross, but he didn't know what to do. And so he called for his daughter, the princess, and explained. The princess said, Father, I've got to go to save everybody else in the kingdom. And so the following morning, the guards took the princess to the dragon's cave. Before she'd even got there, she could hear the dragon snoring loudly. But over the dragon's snores, she could hear galloping hooves in the distance. And she turned around. And there, on a brilliant white horse, was a brave knight. Good morning, princess. Can I help you? So the princess explained everything to the brave knight. The brave knight said, that's fine. I'm brave. I'm courageous. I will fight the dragon. And so he got his lance and he threw it at the dragon, but it just bounced off the dragon's thick scales. And he tried again and again and again, but it just couldn't get through. So then the brave knight had a great idea and he got off his horse, he drew out his sword and he went to fight the dragon single-handedly. But it was no good. Then the brave knight had an idea. He spotted that at the end of the dragon's nose there was a little soft spot where there were no scales. And he said to the princess, take the belt off your dress. We will put it over the dragon's head and you need to hold it tight. And with that he got his lance and he pierced it into the dragon's nostril. The dragon howled in pain and instead of jets of flames coming from his nose, there was a trickle of blood. The dragon went to limp away. 
But the knight said to him, you need to leave this kingdom and wherever you go, you must not eat another human being. And if you do, I will come and find you. And with that, the dragon sulkily left the kingdom. The brave knight and the princess went back to the castle to tell the king what had happened. The king was really impressed and he said to the brave knight, I must reward you in some way. I know I can give you a heap of golden coins. But the brave knight said, no, I don't want golden coins. When I go on my adventures, they're too heavy to carry. So then the king had another idea and he said, I know I'll give you half of my kingdom. And the brave knight said, no, I don't want half your kingdom. I just want to be able to go off and have my adventures. So then the king had another idea. And he said, I know if you're going on all those adventures, you'll need some good horses. So I'd like to give you two of my best horses. But the brave knight said, no, I've got a perfectly good horse of my own. And all I want to do is go off and find more adventures. And so the brave knight galloped off to go and find more dragons and have more adventures. So that's the story of St George, the National Saint of England. And he's our National Saint because of his courage and because of his bravery. And that's exactly what we must have at the moment. We must have be brave and have the courage to do the right thing, which is to stay safe and stay at home. We miss you all and look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.